Hey everyone, I hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much for joining me on this wig review video. Today we're going to talk about a brand new wig by Raquel Welch called Boudoir Glam. It's in the color SS Iced Mocha and the code for that is RL8 slash 12 SS. This wig review is being done in partnership with Name Brand Wigs. They did send me Boudoir Glam. I have to say that slowly in order to say it correctly so that I could show it to all of you. So if you want to know more about this new style, about this color, or about this brand new cap design that Raquel Welch has recently released, then stick around. We will talk about all of it. If you're new to my wig reviews, I do timestamp everything in the description, so if you're only here to see something specific, you can find that down in the description and skip ahead to that section. I would like to thank Name Brand Wigs for sending me this style so that I could show everybody. They're a wonderful online retailer with lots of education. They have a blog. They have a great uh, team of customer service reps that are ready to help you if you're struggling to find what you're looking for. You can find a link in the description to this piece and a coupon code that will save you money. Let's take a look at this style from all sides. This is a severe A-line with a really pronounced stack in the back and look at how bouncy this hair is. This is, it even feels bouncy. When I shake this around, I can feel the whole top of this piece sort of flowing side by side. This is a really unique lightweight cap design and it has a lot of hand tied features. We'll look inside this brand new Lux Light cap that they recently released in just a little bit. But I want you to appreciate the fact that this wig does not have permatease, but it is very full and poofy and that is a product of the cap and how they have sewn or tied in all of these fibers on the top to give it lift. It's a really unique style that doesn't need permatease to give it lift so you get the volume that you're looking for but not the poofy pillowy permatease which can add insulation. This cap is really light, really lightweight and really fun. Now really, I think the star of the show is this brand new Lux Light cap. So let's get right to the cap construction. We have a lace front that goes, it's not really extended. It only goes from about here to here. You do have excellent parting space. They've done a great job with that lace front, even in a dark color like this. It's very, very natural looking. And even the transition to the cap is not obvious. That's a real feat. Sometimes when you get these narrower lace fronts, you have to worry about seeing the cap transition. They have done a phenomenal job with this piece. So even though it doesn't have an extended lace front, I don't really think it matters. It looks really natural. We also only have a mono part on the left side, but all of the rest of this has some hand tied features. So theoretically, you could part this on the other side if you want to, but you do have to contend with the fact that this hand tied cap over here has cluster knotting. Sometimes that can be somewhat visible. I think it can totally be worked with. You'll probably have to take heat to this piece to get the fibers to train over to the other way. But if you really, really don't want to part your hair left going over to the right, you can certainly play with this and try to get it to work with that hand tied side by side feature and the cluster knotting. Let's take a look at this cap. Again, it's called their Lux Light. There is the lace front, there's the part, and then here and here is all hand tied. We also have hand tied up on the top. That helps to give the hair really natural movement. That's why when I was shaking my head, it really felt odd because all of those fibers up there are moving independently. They're moving around. They can move around almost 180 degrees, whereas on wefting, it has some closed wefting back here. It really all moves in unison and can really only move up or down. So we've got closed wefting about midway back all the way through. All of the rest of this is hand tied. Another unique feature of this is these polyurethane strips on the ear tabs and on the nape. 
This is a really unique feature. They're very, very grippy. They're not sticky, but they're super grippy. And I'll be honest with you guys, it is a little disconcerting, the grippiness at the nape. If you struggle with your wigs riding up in the back and that has been a complaint of yours, this actually grips your neck. When I move my head, I, at first I really couldn't figure out what was different about this and it's because it's not slipping around back there, it's actually gripping my neck. I'm not really sure if I even like that right now because it's so different from what I'm used to, but I do think some of my wig sisters are gonna love that it helps to keep that from slipping up in the back. That's a really nice feature. We've got Velcro adjusters and that is the inside of the cap. Let's throw her back on. You know, I don't know if I'm feeling the seams. Let me just, before I throw it back on, let me just quickly mention. So we've got these, they've sewn this on. Can you see? Oh, let me get the face out of there. Can you see that stitching? I almost feel like I can feel that stitching on my neck. I don't know. And, and here at the ear tabs, I don't know if that's just the polyurethane that I'm not used to feeling and it's so grippy or if I can actually feel all of that stitching but it definitely feels different and feels very unique and when I move my head it's the nape stays put it is not moving around it is not slipping and that is a feeling I have never experienced before with a wig so I wanted to mention it it's not really good or bad it's different but I definitely think there are people who are going to love the fact that they can do this and not feel like that wig is going to slip up the back. Now I would say this wig is actually low density. It has a lot of volume for a low density wig. So somehow with these hand tied sides and the cluster knotting, they've managed to really give it a fullness that you wouldn't expect with a wig of this density. So please keep in mind, if you get overwhelmed by wigs a lot, this one doesn't have a lot of hair, but it has a lot of volume. This is almost like fancy event hair or date night hair or wedding hair it's very very polished and it definitely looks like you took time with volumizer and round brushing and back combing and thickening i mean it definitely has that look that a lot of women spend an hour or more on their hair to get now these fibers are heat friendly fibers. I really love heat friendly fibers in shorter wigs. Some of the benefits of heat friendly are, I think they have a little bit more of a natural realistic feel and look, and they don't have the shine that regular synthetic have. So if you've been afraid of heat friendly because you've heard that they're hard to care for, I just want to encourage you on a shorter piece like this that isn't gonna rub up on your clothing, I don't think there is as much concern about those fibers as on longer pieces. You could take heat to this one to maybe add a few little curls into it, which could be really fun if you're looking for a, a wig. If you're not out of the wig closet, you could get a style like this. Put a few curls in one, keep the other as it comes, and then you could rotate them and nobody will be the wiser. I do think that's something to think about if you're currently struggling with the wig journey because you want to have a couple of different options but you don't want anybody to know that you're wearing wigs. So these fibers are really realistic, they're soft. I really, really love on a short piece, I think heat friendly fibers are a benefit. I did mention, and I just want to reiterate, there is no permatees on this piece. I'm putting my hand all the way in down to cap. I don't even feel crimpy fibers. So if you want a wig that has volume but no permatees, this is perfect for that. Now the fit on this one, I'll be honest, it's a little hard to assess because of that silicone and it just, it's feeling so different on my head than I'm used to. But it definitely has good stretch. I think this is fitting really similar to other Raquel Welch wigs that I've gotten. I don't think I have as much extra cap up on the top as I sometimes get because I have a very petite over the top of the head. My circumference is 22 inches, that's very average. I have cinched this in ever so slightly and I don't get a lot of the extra on the top. So I would say this is running really true to average. I've seen at least one other review that says that said that she thinks this cap is running slightly smaller than their kind of flagship caps. 
I don't know if that's really true. I, I wonder if it feels a little smaller because of that silicone. I can't say for sure, but this is fitting me really great. I've got really good coverage on the sides. Now I have bio hair that goes really low right here. I have a very low hairline right there and you can see a little bit of my bio hair but with some styles you can see a lot more of my bio hair than you can see on this one. So I do think the coverage is really excellent and those ear tabs because of that polyurethane are staying put. So before we talk about color, let me just give you my overall impression. If you like a line, if you like stacks in the back, if you like volume, this one is really one to consider. It's definitely tuckable. I think you can tame some of this volume by tucking it, by putting bobby pins in strategically, and by grabbing a headband and just throwing a headband on. You can just toss it right in there and leave the rest of the hair down. You can work on getting some of the hair tucked. I mean, headbands are so versatile because you can do a lot with short wigs and a headband. And if you're new to wig wearing, headbands can help you adjust to wig wearing because it really can tame poof and volume. I mean, just look at how different that looks when I do that. So. I definitely think this one can be styled, but if you're, you know, looking for something really, ooh, I just pulled my earring out, looking for something really unique and fun, this could be it. This cap is really unique, super, super lightweight. It's really just the silicone that I feel like I need to get used to, but otherwise, I really, really like this wig. And just one last thing I want to mention, I probably should have said it earlier, but this part is very densely knotted. You really can't see down to the part line very well. I've tried parting it a lot of different ways and it's just very densely knotted. If you don't like that, you can pluck that part line a little bit to open it up. I also think it would help it to lay a little bit more naturally side to side. It, it's a little bit of a struggle to get it to lay and it definitely wants to go on my face. I have a video showing you how to do that. It's not hard, you don't have to do much, and it can make a huge difference. So that's just one thing that I would personally change about this piece for me is open up that part line just a little bit. All right, let's talk about this color, SS Iced Mocha. Like I said, RL8 slash 12 SS. In the Raquel Welch line of wigs, if there is an RL before the code for the color codes, that just means it's the, one of their heat friendly pieces. Now, this is a really beautiful, more neutral bl uh, brown. So it's a medium brunette with some subtle light brown highlights. And it is considered rooted, so those highlights do not go all the way up to the root. Although the root is not, this earring is giving me all kinds of trouble. This root is not super obvious. But when you see the SS on a Raquel Welch wig, it just means it's a little bit darker at the root. It's shadow shades, so it's a shadow root. I expected this piece to look a little bit more highlighted based on the color code and the name, but it's fairly well blended. It definitely has some dynamic tonal variation but it's definitely not like a super highlighted. They've taken that 12, which is a light brown, and they've really blended it well with the eight, which is a medium brown. It's neutral to warm, but it isn't overly warm. It doesn't really pull red. You know, it's not giving me strong auburn vibes or anything like that. So if you're looking for a medium brunette, you like, you know, toward the darker side of brown, you like it to be a little dynamic, but you don't want blonde highlights, you don't want obvious money pieces or any of those things, Iced Mocha could be a good one for you to check out. Let's get outside so you can see this color outside. Thank you once again to Name Brand Wigs. I appreciate the opportunity to show all of these new styles, and this one is really cute. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. All right, everyone, let's look at SS Ice Mocha outside. I like when I can do darker colors because I've got a lighter background, but when I do lighter colors, I'm, it's harder for me to get a contrast. 
I think my husband will allow us to side the other side of the house different. <laughs> All right, now you've seen it indoors and outdoors. And keep in mind, color changes depending on the light. It's not just the camera, it's not just the video, but it will look different in different lighting. We just don't see it when it's on our head. We're very critical in reviews, but it does, does do that in real life. Thanks for watching. Thank you.